TV. So, a lot of y'all probably y'all already know that later on this year in November, your boy Honeycomb Brady is supposed to be getting out. Honeycomb made a series of posts earlier, and to me, it sounds like Honeycomb sitting in a cell, mad at the world, because ain't nobody helping him out. And he also lets it be known that he feels some type of way about some cats he used to be around that come from Atlanta. And I know he used to be with Rollo and them when he was down there. But other than that, I can't recall Honeycomb ever hanging around any other Atlanta cats. But I'm sure he has. It ain't like I know about everybody he used to be with. But this is what he said. Don't nobody do nothing for Brazy. I hold myself down. A lot of rappers need cowboy hats. They big cap. Shout out no plug. That was solid. And I ain't never met you. And I met them other clowns from the A. So my interpretation, Honeycomb saying that no plug paid him. And for those of y'all who don't know who no plug is, he the cat that got arrested and beat the case after he killed Bank Road Fresh back in the day. I'm sure y'all remember him and 21 Savage was real tight. But Honeycomb Brazy made it clear that some other cats from Atlanta that he don't like. And to me it sound like he mad cause ain't nobody sent him nothing in this commissary getting like. You know how it is when you behind bars, nobody answering your call, nobody putting money on your phone or even writing you to see if you are. Brazy said, watch how many people be blowing my phone up in a minute. I'm so John Cena about myself, this gonna run on see none of you people then honeycomb went on in an attempt to manifest him becoming the first billionaire out of his city he pretty much said if he don't die young he'll become a billionaire before he turn 50. hopefully this time around when honeycomb get out he'll just stick to rapping and quit bullshitting and who knows maybe he'll get it but I feel him, it could be hard to stay out of trouble when you traumatize and institutionalize. And the only rules you abide by is get it any way you can get it. And kill the next nigga before he kill you. It's sad, but it's true. A lot of young niggas don't know nothing other than selling dope and shooting. And really trying to live like the life they rap about in their music. Cause they know it's a slim chance they'll make a couple hundred bands off of playing football or hooping. So they become a product of their environment. And nine times out of ten, they either end up in and out the pen. They either end up dying young or becoming drug abusers. And Honeycomb, you got millions of fans that love your music. But if you can't stay out the penitentiary, then you can't pursue it. I had to make it look juicy for them. Trap Food TV. Oh!